Friday and Saturday, August 21st and the August 20th, there's a full moon in Aquarius. You guys must know this by now if you watch my videos. The sun is in Leo, the moon is in Aquarius, and there's a stellium in Aquarius. The moon is there, Saturn is there, and Jupiter is there. That's a lot of energy. So first of all, Friday and Saturday, the full moon shows up and it gives you increased of energy. And we're supposed to go out and party. And here we are on the weekend. It's like the perfect thing. There's four planets in air. Get some people around, socialize, get outside. Make sure you don't miss all this Aquarius energy. The interesting part is Jupiter is opposite the sun, exact degree. So not only is there a moon in Aquarius, but Jupiter is there and someone's being born under a lucky star. Friday and Saturday. What does all this Aquarius mean? It's what's brought into the collective because it started in December of 2020 that we start talking about humanitarianism, that we start talking about diversity. Aquarius can't stand injustice. So this is a great weekend to say, what are we doing about all these practical topics like racism, like the planet, like the climate, like how we're dealing with consumption. This is Aquarius conversations. I don't want to be a downer during a full moon, but when there's these many planets in air, it's worth us asking, what do we do to make a difference to bring peace to earth? It's not about going to Israel and trying to solve that problem. It's about being peaceful with yourself and being able to talk about hard conversations and not avoiding them. That's what the moon in Aquarius wants more than anything in this full moon. So there's so many hot topics from what just happened with trans, what happens with the black community, what happens with refugees, what happens with the climate. There's a million reasons to say, oh my God, we've got to be humanitarianisms. But the Leo says, oh, not that again. I just wanted to go out and have fun this weekend, Deborah. What are you talking about all that? But you can't avoid it. Not when we're living through an era when Saturn's in Aquarius. And this is going to last for two and a half more years. Saturn in Aquarius is asking all of us to be humanitarians. And the problem's gotten so much worse, we have to address that racism and inequality and the old stories of being separate and feeling like the Republicans and Democrats are fighting. We've got to stay honest about this. Whew, you got me going. Four planets in air during a full moon. My request of all of us, said the astrologer, is you can't change the outer world. As best we can, we're working on the climate. We're trying not to be racist. But here's the real thing you can do is come to peace in yourself. And when there's a full moon, the moon's in Aquarius, I cannot say enough about astrology as the doorway to help you fall in love. And you can't just flirt with this. We're coming towards our cart's going to open. School starts in September. Come join our waiting list. Come study with me. I promise you, if you take the six-week-long class that starts in September that has to do with applied astrology, you're going to figure out a way to bring peace to earth by studying who you are, becoming your real self, and that's the contribution we make. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, I have a school. The card is opening soon, and you can find out whether you are doing your life purpose or not, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing more important than fulfilling our life purpose. I'm doing it here on these videos for you. My life purpose was to say, look up, don't give up, and be yourself. Everyone else is taken.